I'll show you how to make graphics and how to subsequently save these graphics. Stata has a whole battery of different types of graphs, plots and charts that you can make. Stata is not the most intuitive language to make these things with, but I'll nevertheless show you how to use them and how to save them subsequently. So let's dive right into it. I'll start off with our previous data set that contains the Tesla stock price information. And for this data set, we're first going to make a time variable because everything is rightly sorted. So gen t is underscore n. Now we have our time variable in here. And we'd like to plot the stock price of Tesla over time. We do that using the following commands. We do that using the following commands. Two-way line close time. And there you get the closing price displayed over multiple periods of time. As you can see, Tesla has not been doing so well recently, but maybe it will turn in the future. Nobody knows. Now, another thing that you could use is to plot a regression line on there if you'd like. So what you would do is you would have the same command and you do it like that. And then you do linear fit close and t, which basically puts the estimated coefficient of a linear regression on this table. So now you have a red line in there. As you can see, it's clearly downward sloping over the last trading year. You can also make it a quadratic fit over here, and you would get something that looks a little bit different, but still rather similar. So here is how to use line charts. Now for the other charts and plots, I'd like to point you to the auto file again. And first I'll show you how to make histograms. So to make a histogram, at least a simple one, all you'd have to do is press hist and then click on a variable. And you'd get a nice distribution of how this variable approximately looks like. This looks somewhat, but not really normally distributed as there is a large gap here. Now other plots that you can make are for instance, a pie graph. This pie graph would effectively make you something that could look like this, which shows the domestic and foreign share. Of course, everything here is customizable. So you can put the numbers in, the labels in, and there are many different adjustments you can make to this graph. So pie charts it can make. This is a type of graph that I really like, the scatter command. It basically makes you a scatter plot, which is really intuitive if you'd like to plot how the data looks like. Here is the length of the car on the weight of the car, which is a very obvious result. Bigger cars, are also often larger or larger guards often weigh more. There are some exceptions over here, but there's a pretty clear trend that the larger your car, the higher the weight of the thing, which is quite cool. And you again can place this linear line in there if you would like. Next, you can also make a box plot, say of the miles per gallon over the variable foreign. So for domestic and foreign cars, I can now separately make a box plot with the dot representing the highest value given in the sample domestic and foreign separately. And you can also make a dot chart, which could look something like this if you want to visualize part of your data. Now, one thing that's really cool is that you can change many things in the Stata command to make graphs. For instance, you can change the font size. What I do is I just run this command and then every graph I make from now on has the font type times new Roman. I like it so much that whenever I open up a do file, I already put it in here right at the start so that I don't have to look at any other fonts but times new Roman for anything later on than that. And there are more beautiful things that you can do using Stata. For instance, you can make multiple graphs and put them together and subsequently even export them to a PNG file if you'd like. And you do that in the following way. So here we have our basic scatter plot. Let me just quickly run it to show you that it's really nothing special. So you have the file, you run it, and there you have your scatter plot of the miles per gallon of the car on the weight of the car. As expected, heavier cars have lower miles per gallon, so produce more fuel to drive. And then what you can do is you can change this code and put them together with the graph scatter length on weight. In order to do that, you need to give the thing a name. 
So you can use the comma command in options and give the chart a specific name. And you can also change the colors associated with the graph. There are many details you can get here. I'll explain to you how this works at the end. So you name the thing graph one and you replace it in internal memory. You do the same for the second option. And then you can using graph combine, put the two graphs together, give it a new name again, change whatever you like and export the graph. So you, if you would do two things together, you would get something like this graph one on the left graph two on the right and you have both of your graphs in one picture you can do this for more than two graphs i think something more than 20 becomes difficult to read but that's completely up to you you can put in as many as you like as long as it fits on the screen and make sure that the axes are readable on both instances so a very clear result larger cars weigh more and also cars that weigh more consume more fuel and this thing is then saved as a png file now if you'd like to know more about how to use these graphs you can type help two way and you see all the possible types of graphs out there as you can see there are very 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 many and if you'd like to know more about the options that you can use to change the fonts the lines the fills the colors anything you like type two-way options and you have here many menus that specify how each of these things works and what you can do with them. I hope that this data tutorial on how to use graphics was comprehensive and that you got at least an idea of how you can make nice looking graphs in Stata. Thank you so much for listening and until the next tutorial.